welcome back in this video i will discuss how to convert given facts or the sentences into logical statements using predicate logic in artificial intelligence this is the solved example number 2 the link for other examples is given in the description below these are the following uh, statements or the facts given to us given these particular facts we need to convert these particular things into logical statements over here the first uh, statement or the fact is uh, marcus was a man so this is a very straightforward uh, fact here it can be represented something like this man marcus that is marcus is a man over here coming back to the second one uh, marcus was a pompeian so this can be again the same thing the pompeian marcus over here so marcus was a pompeian that is how actually you can represent in the form of logical statement coming back to the third one marcus was born in 40 ad so there are some different things are there like born is the one thing that's an event who has born this is a marcus has born at what time he has born at 40 ad over here so that's the reason we can write something like this one born marcus comma 40 in this case so that is how we can represent this particular statement coming back to the next one all men are mortal the meaning of this one is if x is a man then x is a mortal so that is how actually you can represent because we have uh, all here for all x we have to take that is uh, for all x if x is a man then x is a mortal over here so that is a very simple statement again over here coming back to the next one all pompeians died when volcano erupted in 79 ad so all pompeians that's nothing but uh, if x is a pompeian then x has died in 79 ad so that is the first thing at the same time uh, there is one more thing has happened that is volcano erupted in this case so this can be represented something like this for all x if x is a pompeian then x has died in 79 ad at the same time volcano is erupted so that's the reason we can write something like this one erupted volcano comma 79 over here coming back to the next one no mortal lives longer than 150 years so in this case uh, we have to do some comparison here uh, let us say that the mortal has uh, born at a time t1 and uh, the current time t2 is greater than uh, you can say that uh, you can say it is more than 150 years compared to t1 in that case the mortal is uh, not uh, living it is a dead over here so what we can do over here is uh, we can take something like this for all x for all t1 for all t2 if x is a mortal first of all the x should be mortal that's the first and foremost condition and x has bond at time t1 so when that particular x has bond at time t1 that x has bond and this t2 minus t1 that is uh, t2 is 150 years more than uh, t1 that is nothing but what t2 minus t1 is greater than 150 if it is greater than 150 the meaning is at time t2 x is died so that is what the simple statement over here for your understanding purpose i can take something like this one let us assume that uh, t1 is equal to 1900 and t2 is equal to you can say that 2060 here now if you see here t2 is 160 years more than t1 so t the mortal has born at 1900 and t2 the current year is uh, more than 160 years because it is more than 160 years that the excess uh, can say that died here because uh, after 150 year that particular person or a mortal will die here so that's it coming back to the next one that is uh, it is now 1991 uh, it is a state for now is equal to 1991 over here the eighth one is something like this alive means not dead so it is something like if x is alive then x is not dead if x is not dead then x is alive that is as simple as that so that can be represented something like this one if x for all x for all t if x is alive at time t the meaning is x is not dead at time t over here at the same time and if x is not dead at time t then x is not alive at time t over here so it's a very simple or straightforward uh, the logical statement over here coming back to the last one that is if someone dies then he is dead at all later times so let us assume that a particular person has died at time t1 the meaning of this one is uh, after t1 uh, you can say that uh, t1 plus 1 t1 plus 2 and so on the particular person is died over here 
so what you can do here is uh, for all x for all t1 for all t2 if x is died at time t1 so currently the x has died at time t1 and t2 any time greater than this particular t1 that is t2 is greater than t1 the meaning is what the x has died at that particular time also for example uh, t1 is 1900 okay t2 is you can say that 1901 also 1901 the meaning is what t2 is greater than t1 x is died at t1 the meaning is x is dead at t2 also if it is uh, t2 is equivalent to you can say that 1899 what is the meaning of this one t2 is not greater than t1 so this particular person x is not died at this particular t2 here because t2 is greater than t1 the particular person has died that is the meaning of this particular same time statement if someone dies then he is dead at all later times for all x for all t1 for all t2 if x has died at time t1 and t2 is greater than t2 x has died at t this particular t2 also so this is how actually you can convert uh, these particular facts or the sentences into the logical statements over here this is the solved example number two the link for other example is given in the description below as well as uh, how to infer or you can say that how to prove the different statement with the help of uh, predicate logic is also discussed the link for those videos is also given in the description below i hope the concept is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.